Hey, all the Zerse, and welcome to something new that came across uh, my notice at some point. Uh, this is Warsaw. Um, so, full disclosure, I heard about this a little while back. It was released last October. It's about four or five months ago, thereabouts. I didn't jump in right away because I heard the early access was kind of... Uh, there's some teething issues with it, let's say. And they've been updating like crazy with free content since, and uh, it was on sale recently, so I picked it up. And so, uh, this game flagged me for two reasons. One, uh, it's kind of like Darkest Dungeon. That's kind of where it pulls a lot of influence from. Though not everything, obviously, but it does pull a lot from there. But also, um, because it's set in World War II during the Warsaw Uprising in 1944, and uh, for those of you who have been following the channel for any length of time, um, know that I am uh, natively born Polish, so to me this strikes a lot of the historical chords and uh, history that I grew up with. So for me, this is kind of a no-brainer that I definitely want to check out. And uh, obviously I might have a different perspective on it than some other folks playing it. Uh, but, you know, anything like this that's interesting and it looks like it's well polished and received um, is worth worth my time. So uh, I'm going to go in on this and see how it goes. And like I said, I've been itching to get into something dark as dungeon -y for a while. And this is promising to scratch that itch and then some. So let's go ahead and... Uh, See what Warsaw has to offer. I'm very curious. They just put up their recent update called Zmia, which roughly, I mean, what translates roughly to what? Serpent or something? Um, so, a lot of new content. Things have been rebalanced, so I want to see kind of how this goes. Um, obviously, you know, in 1944, this didn't work for a number of reasons. The Uprising. Um, so, I'm curious to see how this is going to end, but it should probably fit the Darkest Dungeon tone of, don't worry, we're all dead in the end. Uh, which is also very, I guess, um, dark... Uh, <laughs> almost Slavic humor way of looking at things. So, uh, anyway, let's see what notes this one hits. Let's start a new game and go. Um, start from beginning with the tutorial enabled. Play the tutorial first. Okay. Uh, with the preset party. Yeah, that's fine, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Difficulty regular again. I have no idea, so that's fine. To arms. Regular, regular. Krzysztof Jadwiga and Kazimierz. Alright, that's uh, the three that we're starting with. Krzysztof Jadwiga and Kazio. Alright, let's go. If you ever want to know the short uh, nicknames for those folks, that's what it is. The year is 1944. Battered by opposing forces on two fronts, the Third Reich begins to crumble. In Central Europe, Poland lies at the heart of the storm, caught between the wa waning Nazi oppression and the rising Soviet threat. There is little hope for release, and that is very true. Not a good scene, man. Not a good scene in 1944. Despite this unfavorable odds, the Polish Home Army, now an underground resistance movement, is given the go-ahead by the country's government in exile. As the final part of the countrywide Operation Tempest, they are to launch one last act of defiance, an uprising in Warsaw, Poland's capital city. Armia Krajowa, yeah, that's what it was. August 1st, 1944, the W hour. 952,000 people live within the uprising area. The first skirmishes begin. Going in. I live in like a style. They definitely took a lot of the art style from Nugger's Dungeon, which is not a bad thing. I do like that. Uprising begins. Yeah. Pardon me. Before you are thrown into the deep end, you will play through a short tutorial. That's good. Right now you're exploring a fragment of the city and your party is represented by a unique symbol. Okay. You can see your current team inventory and available action points at the bottom of the screen. Your task is to complete the mission by fulfilling all the objectives shown on the upper left side. So reach the hideout. Movement on your map depletes your action points. You should run out of action points before completing the given set of objectives. Okay, a mission was written failure. Oh, interesting. Okay. Where's my AP? Oh, so on the right side. Okay, gotcha. For now, however, we continue along the street. Move your party toward the mouse cursor. Press and hold the left mouse button. Those are barricades? Is that what that is? I mean, are we supposed to go here? Are we zooming in? Where the hell's the hideout? Do we, I mean, is it a hideout, I suppose? Okay. Encounters. Along the way through the streets and sewers of Warsaw, you run into enemies, loot, and multiple choice events. Certain enemies may force you into combat if they spot you and you are in their danger zone, represented by a red circle around the enemy symbol. Consult the eye icon to check if the enemy can see you. And these encounters are nearby, an arrow display near your party icon will direct you. Initiate an encounter by approaching it with your party and clicking on a button on the event pop-up. Okay. So you got an Agant. Pistol. So a healer. What do we have? Full auto. Heavy. Yep, okay. Suppression. And then you are just a rifle guy. Alright. With some utility. Cool. 
Understood. Uh, what's going on here? Blazek Jabowski. And we'll go here. This looks like an encounter. The team needs ammunition before they can join the fight. Agreed. So how do we get ammunition? Before you set out for the rally point, the first order of business is to arm yourself. Your team arrives to receive their assigned share of ammunition from a resistance arsenal. Not a moment too soon. A Nazi patrol appears in the distance, likely alarmed by the unusual activity in the district. You want to rendezvous with the uprising. You have to fight your way through. Alright. Short ammo, long ammo, and heavy ammo. Duly noted. Events usually offer multiple choices to pick from. Certain choices during these events may require spending resources or passing trait checks with one of your characters. Failing these checks will result in negative consequences, sometimes even death. Oh, this is going to end well. And in my way I roll, yeah. All checks are clearly marked in the text. Now proceed with your party to the next point of interest into the combat tutorial. Alright, so we're going to loot all the ammo. Supply drops, resource cash, discarded weaponry. While in the field, you run into many opportunities to retrieve equipment for the uprising. When the loot windows open, click the items you wish to store in your inventory or the loot all button. Note the inventory space is limited. Of course it is. Should you go over capacity, you will need to leave some items behind. I will let caches remain there until the end of the mission. Okay. Okay. Going up here. These are all barricaded, clearly. Some firing going on here. We got some Nazis. Got any chance of Border Street? Platz Żelaznej Bramy, the Iron Gate. Uh, I guess place, square. Probably best translation here. <laughs> Trying to do this ad hoc. You actually you have authentic Polish pronunciation here, at least. This Nazi patrol needs to be eliminated here to reach the rally point. Understood. Napszut, napszut. So we got. Let's see what the combat looks like. I've seen a little bit of clips in this game, but not much. I try not to spoil myself here uh, too much. So this tutorial will explain the mechanics of combat. You may skip it if you wish, but it's recommended for first-time players. Yeah, I'd like to. In war, sorry, begin each round with a number of activations equal to the number of combatants on your side. Activations are required to perform skills. Both sides alternate in using their activations, and the current round ends when both sides use all their allotted activations. Now try activating a combatant. Okay. Highlight using a mouse and press the LMB to select your stuff. All right, so there's our three Polish eagles and two German eagles. Europe likes eagles. All right, what's up? Um, highlighting a skill using the mouse display tools that marker show the starting position required for performing that skill. Okay, so we're we're just kind of bunched, aren't we? All right, highlighting target acquired, the red target. In the uh -huh, it's offensive skill. Okay, got gotcha. you. Selected by pressing LMB. Oh, so there's. So there's like two rows of eight here? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, when you select a skill, markers show the range of the skill. Enemies within range, keep in mind those skills have more limited range. Um, enemy Grimadier is my target. Who? In the dome, good shot. Essentially damage an opponent with your skill, but it costs you some ammunition and a point of stamina. Stamina displayed on the combatant's health bar. Because the effectiveness relies on their stamina level. Uh, no penalties, accuracy reduced by 10, all damage received increased by 20% cannot be activated. All combatants regenerate one point of stamina each round. Got you. Okay. They get. Granata! Scheiße. Alright. Area effect skills. Some skills are able to affect more than a single target. So it will be indicated in the truth of his area. Okay. In addition, the skill will highlight multiple targets during the targeting and animation steps. Now it's time for your second activation. Use the sensitive skill for a change. Hey, you know, piss off. <laughs> like you had to be got. Alright, yep. It's like first aid. It's indicated by the green target grid and tool tip. It's a defensive skill. Okay, got you. Yep, clear. In defensive skills, the target marker appears on your side. It's like Krzysztof. Oh, 15 and 22. It's a pretty big heal, actually. That's right. We need to take care of that. I'm glad the voiceover is in Polish. That's awesome. Do. Do hast. Do hast me. Alright, uh, Notice that your character took reduced damage. Standing behind obstacles grants combatants additional armor. Oh, cool. Uh, reducing the damage they receive. Keep in mind, however, obstacles get damaged too. Okay. So we can basically do. That's exactly what I was going to see. Um, we can activate two people at once in the round, but their stamina will be depleted. Gotcha. Auxiliary skills. Note that you have other skills options, uh, such as moving your character, skipping the activation altogether. When both use up an activation, only movement affects stamina. Okay. So I'm moving Krzysztof to a better position. Alright. Select movement, Lana. Select the empty tile behind Kazimierz. Pressing LB on the corresponding target marker. Here. Okay, you want to go here. Okay, and that took stamina as well. Okay, gotcha. This guy again. Jesus Christ, man. Target acquired. 
Combatants on both sides occupy tiles on one of two horizontal lanes. We noticed that. While targets attacked from the other lane are considered flanked, see if you bonus damage. Oh shit, really? That's interesting. So note that this applies both to your party and the enemies, and does not apply to enemy heavy weapons or armored units. Okay, uh, now it's time to make use of this bonus. Continue, target the enemy grenadier. Flanking, okay, it comes up in the right side. Yeah. That wasn't that much more damage though, honestly. 15% is not a lot. What is this? Oh, it pulls him out. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so the Kajima's time to use a buff. Alright, Gajo, what's up? Select contraband ammunition. Know that you cannot use mow down because of your incorrect position. I have to be in the back. Okay, clear. What is this? Burn chance up, bleed chance up. Alright. Target Krzysztof. I mean, it does two, it seems like. Interesting, yeah, double area. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me something to burn. Not bad. Uh, skills can apply an array of buffs, which are displayed as icons. You can hover over the icon, check their effects. Bleed chance up. Degradation decreases the duration counter. Okay, and you've got three ticks. So some skills can apply debuffs. Burn and bleed inflict damage over time. Blind decreases accuracy. Suppression prevents performing skills altogether. Oh, like with buffs, each activation and round decreases the debuff's duration. Try to apply a debuff to your opponent now, alright? It's like, Christoph, this guy's gonna get burned out in a second. Single shot. 80% chance to burn. Interesting, because of the buff, I think? Yeah. Target the enemy rifleman. Nice. He's currently on fire. He's not happy. So you lost the debuff. This concludes the guided combat mechanics tutorial. You will now be given free reign to finish the fight as you see fit. Good luck. All right. Well, we're gonna. What do you? What can you do, Krishko? <laughs> Krishko. Krishko. Uh. So. I'd right, hit that guy, or I'd hit that guy. So this only hits the front row. Uh, mow down hits three, but again, they're in different rows. Doesn't help us too much. This does way more damage anyway. Fake out. That's suppression. Enemy to the other row. That would be interesting to do, but I'm not where I need to be for this. So I'd say we just full auto this shit. Um, try to burn a guy down. And he's flanking too, that's perfect. That kind of sucks. Um, so. Oh, we take turns, I see. Alright, uh, what do you have? Clear shot. Reduce action inside behind cover. I think you're okay. That's flanking as well. We can do some burning damage here. He's gonna be in a bit of trouble if we don't pull this off. He should be dead soon. He should be burning and bleeding. So he, should be, he should be dead every time he moves. Basically. He should not exist very long. Seven to eight, right? Seven to eight. So there's two ticks. Yeah, he should die. And you need to go heal some people. You need to heal that guy. Yep. That's right. I don't know if we heal after the fight or not. But we'll see how this shakes out. He's dead. Okay, good. So we have a couple actions left. We're just going to go and mow you down some more. Because we can. See if we get lucky here. Good damage. Two, of course. Okay. And you can go ahead and heal somebody, I think. He doesn't have any more activation, so we're fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if we heal after the fight or not, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up our frontliners here. Oh, patch, oh, patch. And then we're just going to keep unloading rounds. 63% chance. We could have missed that, but we got it. You are victorious. Two Nazis dead. Yay. All right, that worked out well. No complaints. Remember, death is permanent. <laughs> yeah. When in battle or events, it's vital to keep your characters alive and well. So since their health is not replenished automatically. There we go. I had a feeling. While certain rewards may appear promising, sometimes better limit your risk of avoid combat altogether. What is this? Injuries. So characters suffer damage above a certain threshold, suffer an injury. Injuries reduce the character's health when they return to the hideout and will have to be treated in the hospital. God damn it. Alright. You didn't tell me that. Let's go on the plots. Okay. Another dude. With the patrol gone, your team should have a clear path for now. Proceed. 
Having emerged victorious from the first real engagement, your team descends the city's sewer network to reach the rally point. A little time to celebrate, however, but the hard cut comes next. The uprising is now in full swing, and a long battle has begun. Let's proceed. So, return to the hideout. When all objectives are fulfilled, the icon will appear in the upper left part of the screen. Press the complete mission button to return to your hideout. Alright. Victorious. And there's an injury. Reward a commendation. Okay, that's neat. And got some extra ammo, which is good. Not too bad. Tone of this is definitely appropriate. Alright, so what is going on here? This looks like a status situation. Interesting. Sorry, I'm just checking one thing. Uh, I need to check duration because things aren't lining up properly on my screen here. Okay, let's see. Alright, fine. Apologies for my... <laughs> we'll put that through. Uh, let's see. Momentum, 99.3. don't know what that means. So, carry mission takes time. At the end of every mission, you will receive a quick summary of all the gains and losses of the uprising. Um, you will also get to resolve all the events that have transpired in the meantime. Okay. Interesting. So, Shrodmieście. Vola Ochota Makotów Praga. Zerlibos. Alright, so there's all the regions. Um, insurance recovers 0% of their health. Prolonged bombardment. I'm not sure what that is. War assets we're losing. It's per day. We'll see. So, uh, proceed, I guess. So, this is difference between war assets generated by all districts and the value needed to keep the momentum unchanged on a given day. So, so we're dropping pretty hard. Um, and then plus one. So, we just go like this. Okay. I'm still trying to learn the, the gameplay loop here. Heavy artillery fire rains upon Warsaw today. Its devastating effect shaking the city to its core. Destruction carpets what still remains standing in the capital. Attrition gain in Shudmyshya and one attrition gain in Mokotov. Alright, will it never stop? So, what is attrition? How much district morale will drop? Failing nor mission will cause it to increase by one. And what happens if it maxes out? My guess is probably bad. Okay, proceed next day. Alright. Day two. 2nd August, 1944. Oh, God, the casualties. Anyway, hideout tutorial. You've reached the resistance hideout, your base of operation between assignments. You can either view the tutorial, explain the hideout, or skip ahead. Now, we're going to view it, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Here, you can plan new missions, oversee party recovery, manage spare equipment, recruit volunteers for the cause. These activities can be asked to assistance of special NPCs. Okay. Your current and future party members will also be present here. But bum Press the LMB on a character's portrait to open the character menu. Duly noted. So, you... That's... You can see your character's attributes, traits, and equipped weapons and skills. Which would adjust your equipment or skill set proceed the corresponding tabs. Alright. Equipping skills. LMB on any skill you wish to equip them. LMB on the skill slot of your choice. Skill marker the red background of weapons. Okay. Different skill colors signify personal skills. With the individual each party member. Unlike new skill each promotion. Okay. Duly noted. And so that means level up. The shield breaker. Uh, areas two in a row, three ammo required. This is one. Tarkar has five ammo on this one. Holy balls. So, why the hell are we yearning this? Oh, ignores cover, I see. Increase actually against armor and heavy weapons. Eh, interesting. Okay. Clear out. Ignore cover. Five explosive. Okay, interesting. Decrease chance to be taunted. Alright, we're gonna leave that for now. That's fine. So what are we doing here? Who are you? The informant is your window into the status of the uprising here. You monitor the overall condition of the uprising as well as individual resistance pockets in specific districts. Okay. Keep the fight going. Each day of the uprising consumes war assets that are provided by districts. By default, war assets are shown in a deficit to represent the uprising gradually slowing down. Your task is to manage this deficit and prolong the uprising, keeping all districts' morale high. Gotcha. Okay, clear. Reaching zero momentum means the uprising is unable to go on. The game ends, and you also click on new mission. Okay, got you. I know you can run things here. That's fine. Let's go to So there's a missions in these places. We probably go to Mokotov, which is lower on morale. Um, the archivist gives access to the codex with the backstories. Oh, cool. Short reports on your unlocked weapons and enemy units you have encountered in combat. We'll probably open that up later at some point. Um, you are the provisioner. Trade hub of your hideout. Through her, you're able to purchase your basic equipment, repair damaged gear, sell unwanted weapon, or excess ammunition. All trades of the provisioner use supplies the currency. Okay. Uh, you can obtain supplies or activities during missions. Fine. Yeah, interesting. Okay. This is... So we're doing alright? Or do we need to... Gotcha. Selling weapons, barter... 
Okay, flares. We'll see how this shakes out. Still, I have no idea how this is gonna fly. We have the recruiters, as is volunteers. Volunteers are not as capable as unique insurgents. For instance, they cannot rank up, cannot have more than one personal skill. They allow you to fill gaps in your team comp and stand in for wounded characters in the recovery. Listening volunteers cost supplies. Okay. So, but is it worth it to have unique insurgents or just getting random people? So, Boguslava here has removing a negative effect and explosive projectile. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, it needs a hundred supplies. Jesus. All right. She's not cheap. What do we have left? Uh, oh, the priest. Uh, visiting priest allows you to see the list of all resistance fighters who have fallen in the service of the uprising. She's not dead. She's not dead. Don't do that to me yet. All right. So we'll go ahead and grab planning a mission. Makotov uh, missions. There we go. New mission. There we go. Every time you set out, the informant will mark your map with available missions. Each mission takes several days to complete. As your team cannot be everywhere at the same time, you can pick only one mission at a time. Any or many missions will fail, so pick your engagements wisely. Select a district with a mission symbol to see the details. Okay. In here, I guess. Yeah, so we can improve the morale. Reviewing mission details allows you to check its duration, required objectives, and rewards. When a mission fails, it just gains a point of attrition. District details show its current morale and accumulated attrition each passing day. All districts' morale will drop and decrease equal to their attrition value. God damn it. Keep in mind that a district's income will be affected by low morale. Draft to zero, it will surrender, now you will income and missions. That's not good. Failure penalties. Uh, one in yeah, three days. Useful salvage. Okay, that's fine. Do we need to get stuff for this? So damage pistol. We can. That's not very exciting. But all right, it is what it is. We'll deploy. For embarking, you need to choose your party comp within the specific limit. To pick a character, press the LMB on the character you wish to move them in a free grid tile. Okay. That's probably fine. So you can go anywhere, basically. Remember, proper positioning is critical to succeed. For each battle, your characters will enter combat in the formation you set on this screen. Gotcha. Equip your party with enough ammo to complete the mission by pressing LMB on the desired ammo type. Don't go overboard. If you find any useful items, you'll need free space in your inventory to pick them up. Okay. How much room do we have in the inventory, though? Am I just adding here now? Oh, is that what I'm doing? Okay. But how much room do we have in our inventory? It's unclear. Um, and this is we have book we have Bogoslava. Wait, how do we? Wait, how can we set up the? We oh, deployed fire team. Here we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, clear. Hmm. Okay. Get you there. Gotcha. Okay. And she's just gonna move out. So she has to be in the front. She can't be deployed here, right? Yeah, okay, gotcha. Clear. No, she can be. So what is this? That's odd. Is that like where she's effective from? What is that indicating then? I mean, you seem to give me a suggestion already. We'll put Krishik here. This his abilities are usable from pretty much in the back. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Make sure we're doing this right. He can be used from the back. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. That looks pretty much right. And you can be used from the front. Okay, she has a pistol, that's why. Healer in the front seems sketchy, but alright. And you can be used from anywhere to anywhere. Okay, so having you in the back is probably the best move also. Yeah. Get, get in there. Mission supplies, let's see. Oh, no, this is how much we're getting from the mission. Gotcha, okay, clear. Um, do we need food? I don't think we need food, no. No, let's try to just run it like this with the ammo and see how this goes. I'm not sure how this runs. So we'll go from there. Yeah. Let's go. Like I said, learning the gameplay loop at this point, so it's kind of kind of a thing. Collect useful salvage. <sighs> Under the flags. Okay, his so points of interest are there. Is that? Okay, that might be useful salvage. Collect useful salvage, proceed. You see, air immediately get to work. After successfully reclaim what you realistically can, you give the order to head to the next spot. Oh, so that was actually like a, a target point. Okay, cool. There's something else down here. Okay, cool. Go here, scavenging. That's good. 
Reach the area, get to work. Okay, so same same language. Alright, so it looks like this tells us where we can go. Okay, there's a guy up there. Something unusual is happening. I should investigate. Yeah, let's do it. You, your group is called to assist with the activation of a field hospital in local churches. The word has gone out the Nazis have uncovered the hospital and so in advance the unavoidable sweep. Uh, the hospital is to be relocated as quickly as possible. Time is running out. Establishing certain priorities may be crucial success of the effort. Focus on carrying out the beds hit with the heavily wounded. Look out for the enemy movement. Identify and secure the most crucial medical supplies first. We have some two heavy guys, right? So I think let's let's take the heavily wounded out. He has a brawn check. Okay. Okay, hospital beds are cumbersome and the wounded are many. Still, the group doesn't slow down or falter. A little delay creeps in as quickly assailed by the physical exertions of the teammate in charge. It's a slog, but it pays off. Successfully managed to evacuate all the bedridden patients. Excellent. Seven morale. That's good. And now we don't really have an indicator of where goods are. Oh, we can go, we can go through here. Okay, cool. And that's uh, that's an actual um, target, looks like. You want to do the gold, I'm assuming. There it is. Okay. Get in there. Click salvage. Okay, so I'm starting to understand how this goes out. Continue. And we have the last one here, this way. Okay. So it's right there. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we have some more action points. Let's go ahead and try to check out some more stuff before we go to that. Halt! Wow, it's really. You can see it from really far out, huh? Oh dear. Use no more units with long ammo. Uh, have at least two buffs and also remember some and What is this? I'm not sure what that is. So probably kill the healer first, and there's an officer. Paramedic. That is That is a flamethrower, and that's the Schiesbecker. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Um you have something cool? What do you do? Didn't really do much. You can flank the medic. He can have a really bad day. Do some big AOE so he can't really judge here. Ooh, I like this. This is more precise though, but this definitely hits more. Okay. Can hit these two guys or these two guys, and that's a flank. So we can do 15, 18, 27, 15, 22, or. We can go... Ah, okay, we only do the front end on you. Gotcha. This is... wait. No, no, because he's in the back, yeah. So mow down would probably be the best. That's fine. This is a flank, so this is probably good damage here. You missed the medic! You missed the medic! Ouch. What does that do for me? To use accuracy or many ticks. Well, that sucks. Um, you. What do you have? Push enemy back one tile. It's not very exciting. Shushet, can you do something useful? Ignore cover. No big AoEs here. Well, 27 to 37. That looks pretty good. You start doing this, those are flanks. That's a lot of damage there, man. A lot less here. Especially if we didn't get the medic the first frickin' time. Let's try to focus this row down. Wonder. But we need to focus this down because this is the flanking row. Let's go and try to get rid of the medic. God damn it. The misses. Ugh, ow. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what do we have? Can we do something cool? I need to get rid of this medic, potentially. That's good. If we hit, this is a dead medic. Got him. Good on you, girl. We'll go Suava. Suava! Los! What does that do? Increase resilience. What does resilience do again? Unclear. I have no idea what that does. Um, so this gives us heals damage. I mean, this is not the worst thing in the world here. I can go ahead and start pinging here. Don't really want to knock him back, though. I mean, killing him would probably be the best move. 
but I have to really high roll for that to happen. <laughs> Dami Fritz on Popalic. Oh, that's funny. Because it is. There's okay, so no more fire here. So this guy is annoying, but dropping... This guy is closer to dropping, potentially. Are you an infantry? You're an infantry, so it would be good to probably suppress that guy. Hmm. Clear out. Where's the one with suppression? There's someone who has suppression. Was it you? Fake out? Apply suppression. Move an enemy to the other row. Yeah, this would be good, because that suppresses this guy. And he has the, the fire. Alright, beautiful. So he's... cannot act. It's fine. Alright, Yachka. Keep everyone alive. Heal up. Kajio. So Pachi could heal. High roll a little bit. So he can't act. Which is good. Needed that. We can go ahead and get some explosive projectile up in this hizzy. Can have good damage. It's reduced reduced accuracy, which I don't like very much. We got him. It's good. He's bleeding for how much? Ow. Uh seven to eight every tick, so he might not die, which is annoying. We should take a single shot at him then. Just drop him while we can. Need the suppressing again here. And totally ping him. Got him. Down. Awesome. At least two buffs on all squad members at any point during a battle. Oh, interesting. It has to be on all squad. This is like extra objectives. Fascinating. Um, really, the most important thing is to keep this guy suppressed. I don't want him to do stuff. So I don't want to let him do. The fire was not good. Ouch. I'm going to recover that. Ah, she's almost dead, so we need to recover that, that damage a little bit. She got a little messed up, but high roll 19 is pretty good. Shabatopatsuch, indeed. Okay. What goes one stamina? You're kind of out of action here, so really it's going to be you doing stuff. We can keep this guy... We can keep him locked down, though, basically, because this is always just one stam. Yeah, we can always keep him locked down, so really the goal is to kill the officer now. This does 19 to 25. Alright. Probably gonna go ahead. It's a lot of ammo. We're gonna go ahead and just ping the officer down if we can. It's a flanking shot. Nice. And we have extra actions now. I'm gonna go ahead and clear shot. And back one tile. It's not very exciting. We'll do more damage potentially here. Nice. Okay. The so last activation. And we're gonna make sure this guy's suppressed. Perfect. It's a very long fight. We need to do this again. Keep everyone a little bit healed up. He doesn't get to move. We just gotta drop that officer now. We're gonna do this very, very diligently, basically. So that should be a dead officer at this point. Ooh, 44 crit. That would've been good a while ago, bro. So we keep that guy suppressed while we heal. Um, not much else we need to do, really. Mostly there. I'll just unload a little bit. Okay, he's having a bad day. Same deal. Suppress. Then... We get to... Try to top everyone up a bit. Gonna use that option. We don't seem to have any other issue with this, unlike um, Dark's Dungeon. That's fine, yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a ping. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, we can't get him from here. Oh, interesting. So we have to get it get this way. That's why it costs more ammo. It can hit anywhere. Oh, you missed. Shit. Let's unload here then. Got him. You do another one? Yeah. Let's get on that train. 
Oh, no, no, wait, whoa, 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 sorry. Almost screwed that up. Keep him suppressed. I love it. That's a great ability. That is a great ability. <laughs> That's such a great ability, holy shit. Now I'm gonna use you to top up. Again, we're gonna try to make sure no one gets severely injured here, because that would be the opposite of good here. And I'll load on you a little bit. Just keep swapping them around. That's a great ability, man, that suppression. Oh, you missed the explosive projectile. Why? Right, can you take the shot now? No, we, we can't we can't miss this. We don't we don't definitely don't want to miss that. And maybe we use your pistol here. Now let's get a clear shot on him. Nope. Repelling fire. Okay, we gotta do it. Got him. Okay. Cool. Job's done. We got extra... Oh, it's extra experience. Gotcha. Not rewards. Experience. Alright, cool. So that was kind of sketchy. Is this... Can we pick up this? We can. Nice. Ooh. Cool. I'll take all the loot. The uh, warrant. Well, let's grab the... Let's grab the salvage. I wonder if we can keep going on the mission. Once we get the salvage, we can just kind of see other things. Proceed. Mm-hmm. Get the spoils. Good. So we're not going to complete the mission yet. We're going to try to see. We have a lot of action points still. Oi. And we got to fight on our hands. Alright. Three enemies in a single turn. Win before turn six. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. What do we have? Pioneer. Deer and deer and a rifleman. Okay. Well, these are all infantry types. Yeah. We need to start doing damage here. So... Got low HP. This guy's got low HP. The Grenadier. Yeah, he does AoE. Mino likey AoE. Looks fine. We drop these guys harder. Los, los. Would you give him? Resilient. Again, I'm not sure what that is. Very unclear. Um, but yeah, if we're gonna keep doing this, we're gonna keep doing this. Oh, it's DR. Oh, it's DR. It's damage reduction. Okay, interesting. Well, still, then maybe Ksushik would be the better one for this. Flank this up. Yeah. Like, my high roll. We high rolled. Beautiful. Ouch. Okay, we need to get this heal up. <laughs> yep. Healing up. No damage. All good for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can't really. So that's just that's just DR. So really firing that would not be very useful. I mean, we could technically just ping him. So it does go away eventually. How much damage can you do with your happy explosion? Yeah, it might be able to high roll. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> or we can totally fuck it up. That works too. Okay. He still has his resilience up, which is a little irritating. So we can go ahead and try to knock the other row down. Takes one stam. So we can go ahead and go pretty hard on this. Miss the officer, which is really the target there. Ow. Well, we're gonna keep her up. She won't die, probably. Do this better, please, this time. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. So his resilience is a little annoying. Oh, that's fine. That was really not very much damage. Oh, it's suppression? Oh, fancy. Look at you. I'm going to try to drop this guy. Well, one of them, actually. We can do pretty much anything we want. This is two stam, which you don't want to burn, really. You should be able to drop that guy, barring anything really onto the gun. Oh, are you kidding me? That really sucks, because that took way more damage than we should have for that. Mm. Alright. Please don't fuck this up. Got him. Got one down. Okay, that helps. Jesus. Alright, we need you to definitely do this first. We can technically suppress this guy. Or we can kill him. That might be the best move. Can we drop him? Oh, we can't drop him because we need your, your gunshot, actually. Ooh, that might not work. Got him. 
High roll once in a while. Good. Okay, he's distributing the damage, which is fine. What turn is this? I lost. I lost. Uh, I lost count. Now, what does the zero happen when we go to zero stamina? They cannot use skills. Okay, that's fine. And we'll go and heal up Bogoslava here. Make sure it's done right. And we'll just ping him down from here. It's going to be relatively simple. Okay. Apparently not. Try that again. Got him. This is turn four only. Okay, cool. So we got it. Nice. That's working pretty well. Let's uh, let's call it there for now, though. I feel like I'm... Oh, wait. Let's get some supplies we got from that, yeah? Take it all. Take it all. Uh, 30 supplies. Let's pitch this, then. Or bandage. Let's get rid of this. Wow, she got really injured here. Holy shit. Take the supplies. Alright, loot all. We're done. We're done. We're done. Cool. Alright. Return to the hideout. Let's see this one shakes out. Okay. That's not so good. New recruit. Telephone operator by trade, an ex employee of the Polish Telephone Jones Stock Company. Private Enterprise long been overtaken by the enemy. It's laying and using Mercy phone cables, proven a reliable way to provide internal communication with leadership of the uprising. Her presence should improve any such efforts. Helena has joined your cause. All right. Cool. Not so good. We're doing the best we can. Proceed. Proceed. Day five. Mission took a while. God damn those numbers. Jesus. Oh, and the losses keep mounting. Let's see how this shakes out. Alrighty, for now, this has been Warsaw. I'll see you all next time. Till then.